Hello everyone. This is Mo, and yes, I'm a Yarny, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And yes, I'm cold. That's why I'm wearing this sweater. Um, it's only 32 degrees this morning. Um, I had to take my grandkids to school this morning, uh, my two oldest ones, um, and it was cold, literally freezing. <laughs> so trying to get warmed up. But I had a Mary Maxim order come in. And this was not a surprise box or a mystery bag. It was yarn that I actually ordered for myself. Um, let's see here. I'll start with this. I took some out already because I had to redo my video because my file was full. So this is the Mary Maxim Lullaby yarn. And if you see, it looks it looks gray in my camera. And when I ordered it, I thought it was gray and turquoise and blue and white. But it is actually purple. So it's not it's not the colorway I, that I wanted because um, we're gonna have another grandson in August. So I've been scoping up baby yarn for another blanket but this does feel really really soft this is 100 percent premium micro acrylic and it's spun really tight and it's very soft and it is it says it's 236 yards 216 meters 100 percent premium micro acrylic 100 grams and 3.5 ounces and the colorway is story time, but it does say you have to machine wash and cold and lay it flat to dry, which I don't think that's good for a baby blanket, especially if they're going to be spitting up and all that all the time. So I'll probably be scoping out some more colors for this baby blanket I want to make. And then I ordered two of each of these. Now these are my favorite glimmers, my favorite sparkly yarn. I love sparkles. Um, now this dark purple is what this is. And it's got, it's one thing I like about their gl their glimmers is um, usually the glimmers match the yarn. It's not some random color that's in it. This is These are four weights. They're made in Turkey. Um, it says to use a five millimeter hook with them. It, this one is just dark purple. They're made in Turkey, 191 yards, 97% acrylic, 3% other, which is the sparkle that's in them. And I really like them. They're nice and squishy if you ever worked with them. And these, the purple ones I got are going for my daughter-in-law for her new slippers. I made her a pair before with them, but they didn't turn out as nice and squishy as I wanted because... Now I, I hold a couple yarns together when I make the slippers, and they're nice and poofy. And then the orange. This is just called orange, but it, it looks more like a burnt orange to me. And it has the orange glimmers in it. And it's the same, same um, 191 yards, 175 meters, 97% acrylic, 3% other and five millimeter hook it's a number four and this is actually in my thanksgiving sweater the one my grandson dom named and his birthday's coming up this week he'll be turning 10. so that was that one and then i ordered i ordered six of these this is the premier cotton 96 yards, 88 meters, 1.94 ounces. It's 85% recycled cotton, 15% polyester. I would not have ordered it if it was 100% recycled cotton because I don't get along with that. <laughs> um, but this is in the colorway Spring Stripes. And I want to make a nice summer garment out of it. Um... And it says to use a 5 millimeter or 5.5. I can't see the other number. That's so tiny, the writing on here. Um, 
what this was. It says, let's see. Where was it made? It says it was made in Harrisburg, North Carolina. It was distributed in North Carolina, made in Turkey. It's so small, it's very hard to see, especially with my eyes. <laughs> okay, so I got those six to make a nice summer garment. Then, you know, I've been trying the pooling. So this is the yarn that will work really well with the pooling. And I got this big thing to go with it. This um, Caron one pound, it's all black. But I had this looking at it already because now this is the Super Saver Stripes. Now I watched Erica from It's Time for Yarn and she made the most beautiful blanket and she used the granny stitch you know the clusters of three and she used this yarn to make um a pooling blanket with the granny granny stitch and she used black and these stripes oh and it was beautiful and i'm i'm gonna make that blanket and one thing about this is the stripes are all the equal length and I wanted to see that for myself so I did pull out some of the yarn and I wanted to measure it just to see if it was so um, if you see all the colorways in here it's got some green <clears throat> and some red and pink and purple and more black and some turquoise so I, I pulled out the first of the colors just to see if they they were the same. I didn't line it up very well. I think I did it in too big of a hurry. Let me try the other one. So I'm not sitting here forever trying to do that. Okay. I think someone messed with this one. Oh, here it is. Okay. And we got barf on this one. Okay. Alright, here's the green. I'll just take out two of the colors. Okay, here's the black. And the green. And you see that they end in the same place where they change color. And that's what you really want for a pooling blanket. You want each of your colors to be the same, and then you'll have the same amount of um, clusters when you're doing the granny. And then you're going to end up with a very, very nice pooling blanket. And if you ever get a chance, go over to her channel. It's Erica from It's Time for Yarn. And I think some of hers were from three years ago, but she still does them. But look at her pooling blanket. She does the, the moss stitch in some of hers, and she does the granny stitch. And I think some of hers has it on the back of her couch. She has the the one with the granny stitch and it's really it's really lovely and that's why I wanted to do them and not because they're easy because they're hard and they're a challenge that's why I took it on myself to try it because I'm up for a challenge and I'm thinking if it can be done I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna challenge myself to do this blanket just because it's it's hard <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but um, I'm gonna do it I'm determined and then I ordered some white because you always need white and it's just um, super saver white I'm gonna finish my um, hexagon granny with it's white and gray 
and I needed some more white. You always need more white in your stash. And that's what this is I'm wearing. It's a hexagon granny. You start with a hexagon and then you just, you have to make them the same on both sides. This one started with a caron cake. I had two caron cakes the same and then I took them out as far as I could and then I started adding my own yarn that matched. Um, this is Red Heart in a off-white that I had a bunch of for my mystery boxes and I added it to it and then I added my sparkle yarn in there and this pink is from pink I had for like 20 years and I finally used it but it matched it matched the pink that was in the Karen cake so then I just kept using it until it was as big as I wanted it um, but Thank you for joining me. I know that wasn't a big yarn haul, but it was yarn that I needed um, to do some projects that I want to do. So we'll see what these turn into. I'm excited about this one because I have like four things in mind I want to make. And then I just saw another one last night. Um, it just popped up on my screen. It was um, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. He was doing, it was called the Fire and Ice I think they were calling it, they were calling it a shawl, but it was more like a poncho, I think. Maybe it was a poncho, but I really liked it. And he was actually doing the 3X size as a demonstration. So that was pretty nice for him to, to actually do a, a plus size, a plus size garment. Um, but I thank you for joining me. I'm just going to cut this one short and hope you have a wonderful Friday. Um, think about others today, something you could do for other people, um, maybe even your own family. Um, if you can't do nice for your own family members, you know, that's, that's where you need to start. Start at home. It always says charity starts at home. Um, you know, think about your family first, take care of yourself so you can take care of your family as Nina from Nina's Knots and Crochet always says, I mean, Lanann, I don't know why I keep calling her Nina. Lanann always says that. I bet she got a rude awakening, too. She she left for a visit with her family from Florida. She's probably freezing up here in Indiana, um, right next, yeah, we're in Ohio. It might warm up while she's here. I Hopefully, you know, if she stays till Sunday, it's supposed to be in the 80s. But you guys have a wonderful day, and... Have a nice weekend, and I'll probably see you on Monday. Thank you.